Senator Sanders, I got to believe preventing a meltdown will help Main Street, will also help the taxpayers. And Larry, that's I have... just my view. What is your view? Well, Larry, I have, I, I'm sure that after all of the ranting and raving that you have done against government intervention and the virtues of the free market, I know without saying that you are opposed to the bailout. No, I'm in favor of oh, the bailout. Oh, you're in fa you've become a socialist overnight, no, Larry. I'd I'm because what I happened? believe that once every few decades uh, or a see. couple times a century, free market guys like me have uh, to attend to financial panics. By the way, uh, the first free market capitalist who helped was Alexander Hamilton in the well, 1790s. See, Larry, I, I knew Hamilton and I agreed <laughs> with him. Well, Larry, you see, I, I think your version of socialism is to bail out the rich. My concern is about the middle class and working families who are now asked to bail out the disaster caused by incredibly, incredibly greedy people on Wall Street who have fought for this deregulation which is now taking us over the cliff. But to answer your question very simply, and maybe uh, Wayne agrees with me or not, my own view is that it would be an obscenity for the middle class of this country, whose standard of living has gone down since Bush has been in office, to bail out Wall Street and the richest people in this country who have seen a huge increase in their income and wealth. So if this bailout falls on the backs of working families and the middle class, I, for one, will certainly not vote for it. But Senator Allard, I think it's patently clear, if you go back to the Resolution Trust Company, the RTC in the early 1990s, Senator, the taxpayers are going to be profitable. They're going to make out very well as these assets are worked out in the long run. And I also have to believe, as Mr. Paulson and Mr. Bernanke said many times today, preventing a meltdown, unclogging the credit markets, will first and foremost, unlike what Mr. Sanders is saying will first and foremost help Main Street middle class people because right now credit is almost impossible to come by and this will eliminate the credit virus. To me, that's the key point. The well, middle class will benefit. So will Main Street. Well, you know, um, if you look at the RTC and you look at the Chrysler bailout, you know, the problem is that they were successful and that encourages further Congresses to treat uh, in a less serious manner the intervention of government and into the affairs of business. But this isn't class warfare. This is what's best for the country. What can we do in the long term to provide a sound economy that will continue to flourish uh, and provide a decent living for all Americans, whether they're middle class, upper class, uh, uh, low income or whatever, so that we continue to provide opportunity for people to be able to grow in this economy. You know, Mr. Sanders, I thought for sure you'd be in favor of this with the amendments to cap compensation and also to have forced government ownership, which is confiscation of private and assets. Larry, That's I thought... That's French, or maybe it's going back to Russia. I thought you'd love this. But Larry, These I thought you would... But Larry, principles. I can't believe that you are in favor of this strong government intervention when every time I'm on your show you tell me how horrendous the government is and how wonderful unfettered free enterprises. I can't believe you're supporting this. Well, but the bottom line for me... Every 20 or 30 or 50 uh, years, I'm but you okay see, with it. Larry, if I ask you that the government should intervene to do what every other industrialized country does and provide health care for all people, you'd say, oh no. And if I asked you to support government intervention so that we don't have the highest rate of childhood poverty in the world, you'd say, oh no. But when Wall Street Wall Street screws up because of their greed, you say, oh yes, it's a great well, idea. Wall Street went bust. I mean, look what happened. Bear Stearns went under. Lehman Brothers went under. Yeah, and we want to know. To sell. Yeah. I think this is a bailout, if you want to use that word, of Main Street, of middle class folks who desperately uh, need credit. That's what you're missing, Mr. But anyhow, Sanders. Larry, the point here is, if you think that this idea of giving, by the way, $700 billion to one guy with no oversight, with no transparency. I'm for is... oversight. I'll give him oh, oversight. Oh, you're for oversight. All right. I'll give him a oversight. A man who could do almost anything he wants, doesn't have to report to anybody, doesn't seem like a very good idea to me. But even if you do agree with that, 
The issue is who pays for it. In my view, it should not be middle class taxpayers You're gonna make who money. are at risk. You're going to make money, but gentlemen, I appreciate you. What a dis- socialist you are, Larry. I never knew that. I'm not a socialist, oh. but once in a while, oh. even conservatives have to use government. But you're quite right, Mr. Sanders. Do we want a government run health care system? I say no. And I appreciate your bringing that up. Senator Bernie Sanders, <laughs> my absolute favorite intellectual nemesis, Senator Allard of Colorado. Gentlemen, we appreciate your time.